In Florida, of course, this is supposed to be a bonfire. Oh my god! Oops. This happened at Mosley High School in Lynn Haven, where the homecoming bonfire is a 50-year-old tradition. Here it is in slow motion. Authorities say a school resource officer lighting the fire was not physically hurt. Mentally might be another story, given how close he was to being blown to smithereens. Residents said they could hear the blast for miles. Yeah, screamed one of the students, while the school district leadership reacted a bit differently. Quote, we would like to apologize to all those who were disturbed by the explosion last night. We know that was very frightening for many of our students, staff, and for neighbors who live close to the school, and we are very sorry for all of that. As recently as yesterday, we checked in with area first responders who coordinate this with us each year to ensure we had done everything we needed to proceed, and we were given permission to go ahead. Safety is always our number one priority, however, so we have made the decision to prohibit any bonfires or similar events on any of our campuses going forward. In other words, this 50-year-old tradition has come to a dramatic end. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. And most high schools, the biggest question surrounding homecoming weekend is, how's the football team going to do, and who will be named homecoming king and queen? In Lynn Haven, Florida, at Mosley High, the question is, what the hell was in that bonfire? Authorities are already conducting a review, and for everybody, this has become a good teaching moment about chemical fume dispersion. There are some indications that either students, staff, or authorities poured some gasoline into the pile, and while gasoline itself is not explosive, when gasoline vapors are mixed with oxygen, an ignition source in a confined space can result in an explosion. Now, some folks have noted on social media this is basically how a combustion engine works. Think of the bonfire pit as the combustion chamber and the wood on top as the piston. A spark or flame creates ignition and the vapor from gasoline pooling in the pile pushes the wood up and out of the pit. In our car engine, we have tiny versions of this happening thousands of times a minute, but an automobile's combustion engine is controlled. A bonfire with gasoline in it is not. Furthermore, there are plenty of bonfire accelerants that are more stable, predictable, and less explosive than gasoline. It is reasonable, I suppose, for a teenage kid not to understand how things could go wrong in using gasoline as a fire starter, but a grown-up high school resource officer with the fire department looking on? That kind of ignorance does not set a very good example. To be clear, we should all be grateful that nobody was seriously hurt in all of this, and I suppose it's understandable that school district leaders would react by ending the bonfire tradition. But instead of banning all homecoming bonfires, why not just ban the stupid ones? Find out who on earth poured gasoline into this thing and make sure they're never involved again. And let the fire department put the bonfire together next year, not the school resource officers, students, and staff. In any case, one imagines the physics class at Mosley High is having some fun with all of this, analyzing how far that man traveled based on his weight and initial launch vector and mass. Perhaps there will also be a lesson on relativity. <laughs> one thing is certain, at Mosley High School in Florida, regardless of whether a student is a scholar, theater kid, athlete, band member, cheerleader, or any combination, homecoming 2022 will never be forgotten. <laughs>